Hello lovely people. This is all glutes, a little bit of thigh and a lot of arms. That's all it is and it's a lot of work. Uh, there's no cardio. We want you to really focus on technique. So you will need, just so in case you want to put this on pause, you will need a chair. I've got a little diddy chair there. Any chair, side of a bed, edge of a sofa, whatever. And some weights. So I've got threes, fours and sixes here because I'm going to go hardcore but I may go down a bit when I get really tired. So if you've got some weights, you will need them particularly for the shoulder press as well. Or just to get a couple of bottle heavy things around the house. Don't, you know, don't rush out and buy dumbbells. Okay. Warm up. I got all serious, didn't I? Warm up um, and get your drink in your towel. But we just want to run through a couple of things. So it's important that you warm up yeah. because you are going to be using some weights, especially yeah. for the lower body. Yeah. Um, two little things. So your sumo squats, which you would have done before, split squats. Now split squats. And we are going to do some super uh, some goblet squats. But a split squat. Yes. Still goes on the chair. So I find it more comfortable to have the laces down. Anne's going to get impatient with me because I'm going to waffle onto you, but it's important for you to get the most out of it. Laces down rather than foot like that, depending on how tall you are. Or your range of movement in your ankle. Yeah. So your front foot is still, and you're going to go down like that. Remember, you may find it hard enough without weights, and that's absolutely fine. All the way down, and you're using that to come back up. And you change over legs. So that's the split squats. And what was the other one? Goblet squats. So you're going to hold on to this with weights. Hold your weights here. To I'm going to do it sideways. So correct me if I'm wrong, Aaron. <laughs> Just get into position. So you kind of want to make sure that your chest is up. So Ooh, you, might, I'm fall back. you won't go as deep as you normally do on a normal squat. So don't go as deep, but stay more upright for us. So you're not hinging over. So that's it there. That's, that is range, Annie's range there. If she goes deeper, she'll start to lean over. And that's just not how deep she wants to go. So you don't go as deep, but try and stay upright and keep the weights in line with your quads. So they're doing all the work. Quads and your lower back as okay. well. Okay. Uh, the other one is the last one that we want to show you. You may have done this with us before, is tricep press up. Everybody always puts their hands here. Don't. Put them underneath your chest. Clump your rib cage with your elbows and go down. Elbows going towards your knees. Now all of the work on this is really slow. So it'll be painful and you'll be, your heart rate will be up. Right, enough talking Annie. Enough talking, go grab some weights. Okay, we're going to start with one and a half squats. I'm gonna... So normal squats to start with. So, normal squats. Make sure right again, right. normal squats. Make sure your toes are forward. Your feet width will depend on the mobility in your hips. Some people have to have them a little bit wider. So For not me, the opposite squats, no? no just doing normal, just normal squats. squats. So what we're gonna start with is one and a half. So all the way down, a little pause at the bottom. Halfway, all the way up. down. And then all the way all up. All the way up. Okay. That's so slow and very boring. We're going to do this for a minute. Let's go. So all the way down, half rep. So don't drive out of that half rep. Don't get to the bottom and bounce out. You want to make sure that each movement that you do, you're snapping into it. So you're down, stop, up, stop, down, and then all the way up. At that tempo, okay? So don't rush the reps. You've got one minute of these. Within that minute, you should be getting around 12, 15 reps tops. Make sure all the weight goes through your heels. So these ones you push right back through your heels. You can hinge over a little bit at the hip, a little bit more on these ones, that's fine. So you should be able to get a little bit lower and then squeeze up through those heels. You've got another 20 seconds to go. And drive through your glutes to get up now. Make sure all the weight is going through your heels. You might find that you start to fall back a little bit, that's fine. Don't worry. It's much better than putting too much pressure on your toes and rocking forwards, which you really don't want to do. So see where I've got the weights almost on my shoulders. Good. So then we're going to do a reverse. This is three part of a reverse lunge. You're going to right. do a curtsy, a standard reverse, curtsy, and then drive your knee up. Reverse, up, and then drive, drive it up. Okay, so it's three movements in one. So the curtsy, you can do the face in the camera that we're going to see. Yeah. Across. So All on one leg. Curtsy. And then bring it back. Down. Up, Take it up behind, drive. knee up. One minute, all on one leg. Let's go now. <laughs> so you curtsy, your back leg comes across. Try to make sure that you don't completely twist though. And then lift and drive. 
straight into your curtsy, you then bring your legs square, up, squeeze your glute, and drive the knee. So at the top bit here, you really want to squeeze that glute up. So you're pulling from your glute, and then driving with the knee. So you'll feel it in your, I've got my right leg going back, depending on which leg, so the other leg that's on the floor, this one, you can feel it there, can't you, in the quad? Should do. Make sure you're still in control, don't rush these reps. Don't rush the reps, it's all about being in control. You've got a minute of these, so you've got 20 seconds left. Really squeeze that glue at the top. What will happen is when you squeeze that glue at the top, you'll hinge forward a little bit, and then as you drive up, you bring the hip forward, and really squeeze those glutes, get them firing. How properly. long, Aaron, how long? With another couple of seconds, then we're gonna go straight into the other leg. Okay, there's gonna be no pauses. Good, let's switch legs now. Curtsy. Bring it across to square your body up. Heel to the ceiling, drive the knee. I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so it's the curtsy. You then go square. It's up tall, lift with the heel, Oops. drive with the knee. That's okay. You will find it, you wobble. As you're working the other leg now, the one that you've just worked is now trying to hold the balance, and it's not that easy. Lift that heel, lift that heel. Really try and squeeze that heel up. You won't get it right up to the ceiling, you're not going to get it high at all. But you want to make sure that you're making a good connection with that glute. Oh man! Just over 30 seconds. Are you feeling that, Pete? Lift and drive. You can't see. I think Whoa. Across, that's okay. I can't look at the camera. Up oh. with the heel, drive oh. it. Just keep that technique. You've got another 10 seconds, so probably one more rep. Don't rush it out. Don't rush it out. <sighs> And rest. Good. That is brilliant. Sumo squats. Feet wide. Outside shoulder width. So this is going to be 20 seconds all the way down. 20 right. seconds half. Then 20 seconds slightly fast little pulses. That's horrible. Just make sure your feet are in the right position. So when you're looking down, your feet have got to be outside the line of your knees. Okay? And you're going through your heels. Let's I'm go. Puffing. Let's go now. So nice and low, and drive up. All the way for 20 seconds. Make sure those knees are going out and tracking the toes. If you find they're really collapsing in, you might have to bring your feet on a touch, as in turning your toes in. So these are four reps. All the way up, all the way down. See how slow they are too. We're gonna to go into a half rep now. So you're only coming half the way up. It's not a pulse. We're doing those next, it's half reps. So you're almost coming all the way up. Just not completely straightening the legs this time. So you're almost coming all the way up. Keep hold of those weights. You can keep them in front of you if you need to. And now stay really low and small little pulses. Stay I'm, down. Stay I'm down. Those weights down. Stay down. Stay low. Get off Don't come me. up now. If you're lower than halfway now and you're staying down there, keep those knees out. They're going to start to collapse in. Get them knees pointing out. Fire those glutes. Get them out. Get them out. And rest. Good work. Shake them off. Shake I can't them. actually move them to shake them off. 30 seconds rest. We're going to do four exercises now, which is a shoulder press, a tricep extensions, a lat pullover, and a tricep press up. Okay, so there are four exercises. We'll take you through them as we go. Shoulder press first. Yeah, we'll show you each one. We get a little bit so of I've got six kilos here. I'll struggle with that, but I'll give it a whirl. Sure. Chest up on these. We'll just show you a shoulder press. So chest up, shoulder blades are back nice and tight. And you're pressing in straight lines. Ready? Let's go now. Remember, these are also a minute. So what you don't want at the top, you don't want to be slamming the weights together. So you're not bringing them round and smashing them together like, like this. That. Okay? Your hands are going in straight lines. So they're here and press. No, there's our little pause again. Control. Both ends. You're pausing at each point. So if you feel it in your lower back, just put one foot back. I'm squeezing my glutes actually. Tight. Everything needs to be tight. Yeah. Don't let the weights touch. You've got another 30 seconds. Slow down, slow down, don't rush. You haven't got a number to hit, so there's no point in rushing. It's all about Same control. Thing. Keep at the top, hold at the bottom, to make sure your elbows come below the line of your shoulders. Okay, that's the line you want. Get them elbows down um. below the line of your shoulder. Don't rest the weights on your shoulders. Don't rest there and have a little Couple of seconds rest. No. Another rep. Another rep. Heaven forbid. Good. Tricep extension. So just put one weight down to start with. 
Right, you've been using your sixes? I'm gonna, yes, I've got two fours here. You may need, depending on, I've got quite strong triceps, but. You've got to keep this tight. Okay, so the lower back and your abs need to be really tight. You bring your weight down in between your shoulder blades and you're extending up to the ceiling. You're not throwing them forward. And flex your triceps, they're really Big straight difference. in your arm. Let's go now. Oh, I thought he got four extra reps out of me just there. Showing, just showing that. Him. We're just showing him. So if you look at your elbow, what we're trying not to do is at the bottom of the movement is drop your elbow. Like this. If you drop your elbow at the bottom, that then becomes a press. Like you just did, okay? We just back. pressed. So these stay up, and you're extending through the elbow up to the ceiling. That is way okay. hard it's enough for me. Up to the ceiling, not forwards. Don't throw them forwards. Almost keep the weight behind your head the whole time. See how the reps are nice up. and slow. It means the muscles are under contraction for a lot longer. Once you start getting tired, just make sure your hands are going below the line oh. of your elbow. So you can't get them all the way down, as long as they're going past the line of your elbow. Oh, how long? So here, nice right angle, you'll squeeze up. It's still another 10 seconds, yeah? Oh. So another two or three reps, suck those abs in. Suck those abs in, stop arching your back, oh. nice and tight. Another Come on! Rep. Another rep, another rep, and rest. Good. Lap pull over, so you get to lie down. So, I'm taking back my sixes. Here. Feet flat on the floor, back nice and tight, glutes. You might have to pass me the fork down after. That's fine. <laughs> so from here, try and keep your soft elbows, not bent. Take them all the way down, just miss the floor, and then and squeeze back. And you're using this to bring them back. What you're doing here is you're not, again, it's not a tricep extension this time. Okay, so your arm is soft elbows, but they stay locked in position there, and you squeeze through your lats. Are we on? This muscle here. Right? We are now. Let's go, one minute. Try not to let the weights rest on the floor. So you're taking them down a millimetre from the floor and then squeezing in. Make sure your feet and your glutes are nice and planted on the floor. Don't arch your spine. Breathe in at the bottom. As long as your shoulder blades stay down on the floor. Oops, sorry, I touched the floor. It's yeah. okay, you might, you might do it. Oh, you can't see the floor, so that's fine. As long as you just don't rest there. <laughs> Squeeze. You'll also be working your chest doing this. Okay, you are predominantly working your lats, but you will be working your chest. As you squeeze in, keeping the weight in this line here, and you're bringing them to the midline of your chest. So stay nice and tight. Stretch those lats, squeeze them in. You're going to have to keep those abs tight as well. You don't want to start poking your belly out. Suck them in, keep it tight for 15 seconds. Big stretch back, big stretch, and then squeeze in. Pull down, think about pulling down through your back. Another rep, come oh, on, just get one more rep, yeah, 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 fine, soft elbows, soft elbows, and just rest, tricep press ups, if you show you the beginnings, you'll be fine with these, if you've done any of our workouts, you've done these before, so ready, these are still a minute, <laughs> let's go now, tricep press ups, Okay. you can do them full, one knee on the floor, two knees on the floor, or complete box, where you bring your knees right in, either way, Technique stays the same. Your hands are in line with your chest, your head is in front. Okay, when he really means important. in line, he means underneath, and it means that your hands are right underneath your chest. So if I was to flop down on the floor, my chest would land on my yeah, hands. Not your shoulders, and definitely not your ears. So if you, as, you're, as you're lowering your head down, your chest to the floor, if your head is in line with your hands, you're in the wrong position. You even need to bring your hands back transfer your weight forward. Don't let your elbows flare out, get them towards your knees. Uh, your 20 knees. seconds to go. Your knees in a little bit. Regress down if you need to, uh, keep pushing through those triceps. So dip the chest to the floor, knock the head to the floor. 10 seconds, keep that spine neutral. It's good work this, push oh. through the elbows. Come on, squeeze it up. Another couple of reps, squeeze it up. Good work, rest it out. Rest it out, rest it out. We're going back to the legs now. Split squats. Split squats. So grab your weights, get your chair. Oh, if you've got wooden floors, you might want to put the chair against something, just so it doesn't slip away. You don't want to be in this position and the chair starts to move. Okay? No one does the splits. So one foot on the chair, either toe up or laces. Nice and controlled, full range of movement. Let's go now. So we dip all the way down, drive up. That's okay. 
So you might take a little bit of hopping around to get your position because what happens is if you're too close to the chair, you'll find that you push through your toe a little bit. So you want your foot in front Pause. and the weight through those heels. Push okay, up. remember it's all about control. Down through these heels. So all the pressure is going through Annie's heels. She can wiggle her toes like I can lift them up. Okay? All the pressure is through the heel. Pause. Squeeze up through that front leg. You'll feel a nice stretch on the leg that's on the chair. But it's the front leg that's doing all the work. That's the one where that's going to start to burn, possibly. You're going to start to feel it in that leg. If you find the weight's too much, just put them down and then use, um, just do it now. Control. It's all about being in control. Still got another 10 seconds. Oh. Maybe your foot position at the back it depends how much flexibility you have in your ankle. So try not to think about the right foot, think about the, left, this, the front foot. Two more seconds. One more second. Change one. legs. Switch legs, so one foot on, you might have to hop around, get yourself set, let's go. Sweat all over my face. If you have a little look down, when you're doing these, as you're dropping down, your knee should be tracking your toes. Doesn't matter if it goes over the toe, that's fine, as long as it's in line with it and it's not turning in or out, you want to try and keep it straight. Breathe in at the top. You'll feel your heart rate go up, I'm starting to really panic now. Mm -hmm. Bring your foot across the touch. I'm just going to, no, never wait. That's it, just about to fall off the chair. Okay. <laughs> Can't see behind you always, so it's cool. Oh. Make sure in the middle, if you've got a bed or something, you're fine, there's loads of room. And obviously, it's probably more comfortable than this chair. Control and squeeze oh. through that glute. So the quad and glute, this is when you're trying to work, you're trying to push up and squeeze at the top. Give that bum a little bit of test. Squeeze oh. through those glutes. Stay in control, chest up, shoulders back. Don't start to collapse that core now. You don't want to start laying on your chest on your thigh. Chest stays up, look forward, positive posture. And rest. Good. Then we're going to the goblets. See, there's not many jokes for me to stay there. It's hard. So this time the weights are nice and tight in front of you. Goblet squats. I've got my feet slightly bum tight down. now. Get that bum yeah. down. Drop the glutes in. Oh. Try to stay facing forward. What am I doing? How long? About a minute. One minute, yeah. Let's go now. Just all the way down and way up. Yeah, just nice full goblet squats. Remember, you won't get as low if you're trying to stay upright. And the weights, there. if you've got the weights here and your knuckles are pointed forward, they stay that way. If they start to point to the floor, then you're hinging too much. So if I'm here and my weight, you know, I hinge my head, my weight, my hands don't point to the floor, my weights are going to drop. They've got to stay tight so you're upright here. So when you've got your technique good, now clench your glutes and push through your heels to come up. Really squeeze your glutes at the top. At the bottom of the movement, there's one way to get your glutes firing. At the bottom of the movement, think about turning your heels into the ground. So at the bottom, squeeze your heels into the ground and fire them glutes up. Yeah. You're trying to create little holes in the floor in. with your heels. Get your heels in. Lift your toes. Drive up. Ugh. I went over a bit there. Another 10 seconds. Yes, it. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Good. Now drive up. You haven't got, you don't go as deep as a normal squat, that's fine. You want to drive them heels, get up, get up, get that chest up. Good, just rest, shake them off. We're going to go back to our split squats. Oh dear. This time, we're going to be doing 20, 20, 20, like we did with the sumos. Okay? Yeah. So you're going to do 20 seconds, nice and full. So normal ones. Like we did before. Then I'm going to put the weights down and I'm going to do them slightly faster. Then I'm going to pick the weights up, do another 20 again. seconds of weighted slow ones. Are you ready? So it's 20, 20, 20. I'll suddenly come out in a rash after thinking about that. You haven't got to put your weights down, you don't mind. Yes, they have. It's horrible oh, with weights. Let's go now. Good, let's go now. So controlled. So you're going to do 20 seconds. You're then going to do not a complete pulse, more like a three quarter, but just a little bit more pace. And then we're going to slow it right down again. If you have to put the weights down, fine. You know, if you're feeling strong, if you've got nice strong legs, then don't put the weight down, stay with it. It's fine. And now we go. So now we go a little three quarters, and we just pick the pace up a touch. Just a little bit. Don't strain that front leg now. Don't strain that front leg. Tension off. Ten more seconds. Stay with it. Stay with it. Don't push the chair back. So don't push backwards. Bossy today. I'm bossy today. Weight training, it's my oh. thing. Let's go, grab your weights, let's go again. Oh. Oh. Now we go back into full. Come on, now we're back into full. All the way down, all the way up. Good. Get a good proper connection in those quads. Oh. Another 
five seconds. Come on, so another couple of reps, then we're gonna switch legs. Change legs, good work, change the legs. I feel like crying. You have to beat that out then. Right, back on the chair. Come on, other foot. Come on, you. I must get a rest now. Good. I can't on me. Oh man, I wrote this as well. I'm right shooting. Foot, right foot forward. Let's go. Control down, squeeze up. Okay, that front foot forward is a touch. That's it, good. Yeah, don't have that front foot too close. Like I said earlier, you'll need to push through your toes. You can put a lot of pressure on the knee or your core is going to completely collapse and you're going to turn into a little ball. You don't want to do that. You want to chest up, shoulders back, slow control, okay? Now you go three quarters. So it works down if you need to, don't straighten that leg, get your balance, stay tight. So it's a little bit extra pace and it's a little bit less range of movement. Yes! It's only 20 seconds, then we're going to go back into our slow and controlled ones. Are we? Grab your weights now. So grab your weights, get down you. and up we go. Control. Back into that control. It's still in a minute. I want to lean over. Don't collapse. So there's that one. Nice and tight. Have a core tight. Think Chest up. Front quad. A quad in your front glute. Think about it. Think about it. Three more seconds. Come on, Deadman. And rest. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Don't get that chair anymore. Sorry. Upper body. Sorry. Shoulder Next. press, okay. tricep extensions, lat pullover, tricep press up. So the same one we did before. So you get your technique right, we start with the press, arms up. Straight What's into it. So okay, yeah, the legs. Let's go, let's press. So we're going to now. If pressing above your head does raise your heart rate slightly. And we don't let them snap, so you're not bringing them round and blending them together like a star jump. Straight lines here. Up, controlled. Two movements. Keep your shoulder blades back, nice and tight. Core tight, don't start to arch. If you find that you're really arching back, so get tired, switch positions to here. Bring one foot behind you. Just keep pressing in straight lines. All shoulders, you'll feel it in your traps a little bit. Face your neck, anterior delts, the front of the shoulder. Make sure the elbows go below the line of your shoulders. Speed. Breathe out and you press up. Get that breathing under control. Breathe in. Breathe out when you press up. Come get the air out. Squeeze it out. Squeeze it out. Couple more reps. Give me another rep. Give me another rep. And rest. Good. Just bring them down. Tricep extensions. We are going to be so fit this year. Extending up. Extending up. Let's go now. Control. Extend. So they call it an extension for a reason because you're extending through the elbow, making your arm long. You're not pressing from the shoulder. Okay? You want to hit the tricep. Drop it down here. your back. All the way down. Full range. Full oh. safe range of movement. Once you can't go anymore, once your technique collapses, you either lower the weight or just shorten the range a little bit. Or Use your legs for a couple of reps because you still got 30 seconds left. So you've got to make horrible faces like this. <laughs> okay, that helps. Lower the weights. Pause. And then if you struggle. Squeeze up. Use your legs a little bit if you have to. You still need to be able to control it down. You still need to be able to control that weight on the way down. Oh. You've got another 15 seconds left. Don't give up now. Use your legs or just drop the weight down. Don't give up. No a couple stopping. More reps. Come on, just a couple more reps. Just a couple more reps. Good, rest it out, back the line up on the deck. So on the floor, and you bring them down. So soft elbows, so we're not locked, we're not bent, we're soft. And it's they very, stay in position. Very nice to be on the floor, isn't it? Let's go with these now. All the way down, stretch those lats and the shoulders. If you have sore shoulders, you might not be able to go that far down. If your range of moving your shoulder isn't as much as Annie's, that's fine. Just go as far as you can, and then you squeeze in. You might only get them three quarters of the way down, as long as you can make a connection with your lats, which is your back. It's almost like you're trying to pull something down. Just squeeze it down. You don't have the weights touching either, because that stabilizes them. Down. You want to use each arm. 30 it. seconds to go. Stretch it out. <sighs> you're breathing out, and you're pulling the weights back to the midline of your chest. 
Try and brace your stomach muscles when you do that too. Still got 15 seconds, so it's another five, four or five reps, that's all. Big stretch it out. Ten to go. Come on, another rep. Another rep. Another rep. Get it done. Get it done. Touchdown. Good work. Try and set press up to finish. Oh man. Try set press up to finish. Okay. Hands narrow, like that, okay? Underneath your chest. I'm just putting off the evil. This is gonna really Let's go. Burn, baby. Okay, you're gonna burn. need to focus on your technique. Don't worry if you have to regress down, you have to bring your knees in, or you go from four to one to two. That's fine, doesn't matter if you regress down. And just then go up. Control your tempo. Stretch, pause, and then push through the base of your thumb. So don't try to push through your fingers, base of your thumb, and fire up your triceps. The muscle you just worked by doing those extensions. <laughs> Breathe in at the top, tense your abs, hold them on the way down and then drive up and breathe out. Remember your head position. Speak about it a lot. Remember your head position. If you rock back too far so your head is in line with your hands, you end up working too much on the shoulder joint. <sighs> you want to be pushing through the chest and the triceps. Triceps okay. towards your knees, remember. Elbows towards your knees. I mean. 10 seconds. Everything's going downwards. Everything's going towards your back pocket. Last couple. Last one. <laughs> And rest it out. Good, well done. Rest it out, rest it out, rest it out. I'm sorry if you found that long and slow, but it is a brilliant workout. So if you want to get glutes and quads and arms in shape, a little bit of back, that's a top workout, but it doesn't take over your life. There's no jumping about either. So don't forget to stretch your triceps, hamstrings, quads, the works. Thank you so much, Aaron. Great teaching points, Mayor. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll just stay here because I can't stand up. <laughs> well done.